Hello and welcome to another Friday Findings video brought to you by KeepSaintCrafts.net. Today I have yet another hammer to show you to use in your crafting. So this crazy looking thing is a dead blow hammer. It has a brass end that you would hammer with and then this end back here is likely weighted with sand. It's rather, I think this is a 12 ounce hammer. They certainly come in other weights. You can get them in solid brass. They are pricey which is why I chose this model for now. And the purpose of a dead blow hammer is that it soaks up the reverberation when you're striking metal. And it also reduces the rebound. So when you're doing something like striking a piece of metal with a letter punch or a design punch, of course you don't want rebound because then you end up with double strikes. You can see that there. It's a pretty good impression without any extras, without getting any of the edges in. And you, you use a dead blow hammer, like I said it deadens the blow, hence the name, when you're striking metal to metal. So instead of using another steel tool, which if one of the steel tools is improperly tempered, one of them can shatter, using this kind of hammer is a lot safer. So you don't want to use this to strike a chisel, or to drive a nail or to anything that's sharp that can damage it. I don't happen to have a disc cutter but if you were using a disc cutter which is basically a tube of metal that fits into a round slot and you hammer on that, you have a piece of metal underneath and you hammer on that and then it cuts perfectly round discs. That's another instance where you would be striking metal on metal and so it's a good idea to use the dead blow hammer instead of using a steel hammer. But you don't want to use a hammer like this directly on your work. This is always a hammer that's used to strike another tool. So I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video please be sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and on my blog. And feel free to check out the other two videos up on the screen. Happy creating. Bye-bye.